your discretion. Are you listening to this? You are the resistance. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra. And today I wanted to show you a new and better way of mounting your GoPro action camera. Um, prior to having a GoPro, I ran the Drift series of cameras, more specifically a Drift Ghost and a HD-170 Stealth. Both mounted the same way. You had this type of clip here, which would thread into the bottom. It had a ratcheting mechanism, and you could align that angle there. And between this and the rotatable lens, you could get just about any angle that you wanted, match any contour of any surface you were mounting it to. And it was just, it was great for that. Now, moving into the GoPro, what I have here is a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. It's mounted in the Cena waterproof case with the Cena GP10 back on it. But it doesn't matter because all GoPros mount the same. You have the two tabs that have slipped down and those go into the three tabs. That's the, I guess this is considered the female and a bolt goes through it. Now, if you're like me and you have a GoPro, you have a ton of accessories trying to get that perfect angle. So it matters so much so that I have my nice Pelican case here. I keep all my cases and accessories and mounts in. Um, you have your short base, you have your extended J-hook base, you have your longers, longer um, longer reach mounts, you have your shorter ones, you have the one that does the other angle. And between putting together here with some thumb screws, putting together what you need, trying to get that perfect angle. It's a real pain and there's something better. I'm going to show you right now. Now, the way the bases mount, they all mount in the same style GoPro base, whether you're using a curved or a flat mount, so it doesn't matter. This is a screw U joint. Okay, this is the one that I use on the front of my helmet, and um, it's composed of two pieces I'm gonna show you. You have the base, and here are the bases that are available. You have the short base, this is the medium base, and this is the long base. Um, now the base is only part of it, and on top of the base, you can see from my front chin mount, I'm using the medium base, on top of that, you use the other part of the joint. And the good thing about these, not the, 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 the short base doesn't really move. It's kind of similar to a standard GoPro, but the long and the medium, you can see, you can rotate this. And that's, that's, where, the, that's where the real adjustability comes from. Not only that, but then you have this piece, and that's also adjustable. You can rotate this. Now, it's kind of tough to show you. So what I did was I have a long, and a, the screw U joint together, mounted together, and I'll show you what that looks like. Kind of looks like that, but here's one that's assembled. And I have on it, I have the, um, uh, the standard GoPro waterproof case that came with my Hero 3 Plus Black. And what's cool is they don't have thumb screws, they have Allen wrenches, which is kind of cool because you could set it and forget it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, this is my side helmet uh, mount setup. I'm going to put it on there, I'm going to show you the adjustability and all the um, movement you can get on it, the full range of motion when mounted on my Shoei RF 1100 helmet. Okay, so this, I'll put this up here. This is my side helmet setup. You can see that it's clicked into the side mount. I can get this adjustability here as well as the adjustability here. Um, so what you end up with is a ton of adjustability. I mean, you can the, the the movement that you can get from the side mount is absolutely unbelievable. You can really tailor it to exactly what you want, and best of all, once you like it, you tighten up the Allen head screws, and in the joints themselves, there are Phillips head. You take a this Phillips head works perfectly. Tighten it up, and you never have to touch it again. And if you're using the waterproof housing, it's really great because you can leave the housing on at all times and just pop the back out, and you're set and ready to go and you can just take the camera in and out there and you can leave this on at all times. So that's the side mount that I use there and I really like it. Although I'm not a big fan of the side mount, I usually use the chin mount and I'll, I'll show you that in one second now. My Shoei RF 1100 helmet presented a, an interesting problem. Um, the front of it is not exactly flat and it's not exactly curved so neither of the mounts really worked well in the direct center. So what I did was, as you can see, I took the curved mount and I mounted it off center. Okay, and then I needed something to put it back towards the center as best it can. And here's what I used, a medium base with a screw U-joint. And you know, I'm a big fan of um, putting uh, white out at the connector so I know exactly where it goes. But quite honestly, this has been a set it and forget it thing. And all you have to do, let's see if I can do this one hand, is click it right like that and I'll show you. 
now I have a mounting spot for my GoPro right here. Now I did choose to put the thumb screw here and I know that might not be the best thing according to the dead, dead cat dot but I like that even with gloves I'm able to just kind of loosen it quickly and tighten it up quickly. Let me show you what that looks like on there. My Hero 3 Plus is now mounted in the waterproof case and by flipping it down like that even with gloves I can turn the GP10 on or off, the turn the GoPro mic on or off and then quickly flip it up and by flipping it up it's got the perfect position for riding to get the perfect angle. Um, there is a lot more adjustability I don't think this is completely no, say it's not I didn't super tighten it now but you can still adjust it you know left and right that's actually perfect right now um, but it's really good I, li I like it a lot it's super strong it's really not that expensive. It does a better job than, you know, putting all these things together. It's a lot cleaner too, without the thumb screws, except the one thumb screw right there. Overall, I really like it. Um, it offers a lot of adjustability and, and custom customization. And I mean, I can even have, if I really wanted to be crazy, I could put two two cameras if I had them, one there and one there. But. Uh, I, I just really like it and it, the good thing about it is that once you find something that works you just tighten it up and you never touch it again it always gives you the right angle and if you have a like a, a helmet that's very difficult to get the correct angle like this one kind of goes in it's not straight on the sides you can m probably accommodate any mounting surface any helmet any anything because of the adjustability so if you have any questions uh, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to, uh, to uh, uh, answer them Otherwise, I'll put a link to Dead Cat Dot's website, and you can check them out there. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Ride safe. See ya. And between that and the rotating lens, you get, you get, you can get just about any. That sounded like you can get, you can get, with the, with the, keep it going.